Jehovah Jireh does not mean my provider. My name is Enoch Lavender from Olive Tree Ministries and today we're going to look at the real meaning of Jehovah Jireh and see how that applies to us today. Origin of the name is from the story of Abraham and Isaac. And so Abraham is told to sacrifice Isaac to the Lord and he goes up to the mountain to present him as an offering to God. And it's a hard and challenging moment for Abraham to let go of his, his chosen, beloved, promised son. And in the midst of this, an angel appears and stops Abraham in his tracks and shows him a lamb that is being provided in the place of Isaac. And so Abraham names this place Jehovah Jireh. And in our English Bibles, it's translated God will provide. But it actually means God will see. Yireh is to see in future tense. He will see. So what's the difference? Well, when God sees, he provides. But there's a layer of meaning to this. It means then that we can't just passively wait for God to provide. It means that we need to present our need to him. We need to come up to his mountain with our need and there the answer will be provided. Paul the Apostle said, don't be anxious about anything, but in everything, by prayer and supplication, with thanksgiving, let your requests be made known to God. Sometimes we, we don't take that step. We just worry about it. We are anxious about it. We are concerned about it. But God is saying we need to actually present it to him, give it to him, lay it bare before him, come into his presence with our request. And then the peace of God will come. Then the answers will come. Then the provision will come. We have an example of this from the story of King Hezekiah, who received a threatening letter from the king of Assyria. And he read it, and he went up to the house of the Lord, and he spread it before the Lord. We're not saying that God doesn't see, that he doesn't, isn't aware of things going on. But God wants us to bring it to him, to lay it before his eyes, bring it to his presence. And he will see, he will answer, he will provide. But he wants us to ask and wants us to come to him. Another meaning of Jehovah Jireh, which is very significant, is that he will reveal himself. And Abraham called the name of that place, the Lord will reveal himself or make himself seen. In the mount of the Lord it shall be revealed. So there's something special about this place. And later the temple of Solomon and the, the temple of Jesus' day was built on this mount. And this was the place where the glory of the Lord was revealed. And I believe that the glory of the Lord will return to this place. And so as we talk of Jehovah Jireh, we are talking of the God who is going to reveal himself to mankind and he will be physically seen in Jerusalem. He is going to come back and rule and reign on the throne of his father, David. He will be seen. He will be seen in this place. So let's pray for this place. Psalm 102 says, When the Lord shall build up or rebuild Zion, he will appear in his glory. So this is a promise that the glory of God is going to come back in the restoration of Jerusalem and the restoration of this city to the plan and purpose of God. So let's watch this space and also know that in our needs, God will reveal himself. In our challenging situations, God will make himself present and we will see him in the midst of it. Abraham saw God at, in the mountain. He saw God in the context of being challenged to let go of his one and only son. And it is in those moments as we surrender things to God that God will reveal himself and we get to see him in a new way and on a new level. I pray this uh, message has blessed you and please leave your comment on this video, share it with your friends, subscribe to our channel for more teachings and you can support us as well and get more of our resources and our free newsletter at olivetreeministries.tv. My name is Enoch Lavender from Olive Tree Ministries.